What's up, y'all? It's your boy Flex Saru back at again. This is episode three, Life as a Barber. And um, yeah, today's a new day. I'm blessed, I'm thankful, and that's the same mindset you should have. You know, whatever you're going through, just know there's going to be another day and you're going to go through that challenge, whatever you're going through in life. But yeah, so that's how I wake up every morning to be thankful for each day that I'm just breathing and I'm up and I got the ability just to have another opportunity to have another day. So that's my mindset too when I wake up, you know. But for y'all that's new to the channel, like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, drop your Instagram names. This is just a barber life, you know. It's my journey as a young barber and entrepreneur on how I move and how I operate every day. So uh, with that being said, yeah, you know, it's October 2nd. And um, you know, I got my Friday the 13th shirt on. So yeah, you woke up today, you already winning, y'all. You know, you gotta put that as your mindset. You already winning, you woke up. But yeah, today's, um, I gotta run a couple errands. I gotta go pay the shop rent, um, hit the bank, take care of that, and go to the barber shop. So y'all stay tuned. Oh, you know how to put the new red four beanie on. Winter time, I love beanies too, so. If you ever want to give me gifts, I accept beanies and uh, horror t-shirts too. Michael Myers, Jason, Freddy, all that. We just got to one of my favorite stores. About to get a breakfast burrito and some water. I got the breakfast burrito, apple juice, a protein drink for later, and a water. Put everything out. Man, I need to go get a pumpkin. What's up, y'all? I just made it to the barbershop. About to eat this food. Lavish Barbershop, Sacramento, California. This is my shop. For y'all new uh, people. Wow. <laughs> it's uh, Danny. Demori93. Demori, man. Demori, yeah. Demori. Man, he got the Gucci cape. 45 bucks. Sharp Shout out to Daytona. We'll be fucked with the muscle cars for sure. Clean, white and black. He named it the White Ranger. What's up, bro? So we finna get started for the day. Take care of this business. Do some clients. My clients are already here. So cool. What's up, man? Good. Yeah, how about you? I was in the juice aisle. They said this was the best apple juice. Uh, they said make sure to shake this shit. I really won't be fucking with apple juice like that. But let's try this shit. Man, this shit fire, y'all. All right, I just got done cutting for a little bit right now. Beginning of the month, got to pay the shop rent. So we right here at uh, the bank. I'll deposit this money into my uh, landlord's bank account. Then um, I gotta go pick up this check. For real this time, I gotta pick up this check. Then um, yeah, yeah. so you know, that's part of being an owner. You gotta make sure your bills is paid on time. You gotta be in charge of that and uh, make sure you take care of it. So that's where I'm at right now, it's just a the bank. Then um, go take care of that other business, then go back to the barbershop, got some more appointments. But yeah, I only did like maybe four or five haircuts today. Um, I just didn't record it all, but yeah, so. All right, y'all, finally got what I wanted. About to deposit this shit in my bank. Go back to the barber shop, finish up cutting hair. And this is Life as a Barber, episode three. And I appreciate y'all um, tapping in and just following me through the day. And, uh, yeah, 7.30, I'm about to head out. I got done finishing up the last cut. And um, before, you know, this is tips and keys. You know, everything I'm gonna tell you is always in a positive aspect. So, you know, this is just a word of advice for you upcoming barbers and barbers in general that wanna learn shit. You know, when you're in an establishment and you're renting out a chair, or even if you're getting paid commission, if you're the last one cutting and you, you're the last one out, man, make sure your shit's clean, your shit's sanitized for the next day. It's gonna make it a lot easier. So you, when you come to work the next day, you're ready to go. And that goes well for the establishment too, you feel me? You still work here, you in the establishment, you're still a team player. You know you gotta have that winning attitude. If you leave, you're the last one out, clean up, you know, if there's trash, throw it out, you feel me? Just don't be lazy and just walk out and just be selfish and just, you feel me, leave the shit there. 
So that's what I'm saying. Just be a team player. Make sure the shop look clean because at the end of the day, you still bring your clients to this shop where they're spending their money at. You feel me? So of course the environment is going to be important. So that's why it's very important to be clean because this is a winning aspect. And it's just going to make the clients feel more comfortable and the environment is going to be a lot better when it's more clean. You know, if it just feels that good energy. Like all that shit matters. You don't want to go in a dirty shop and work in a dirty shop. You feel me? You want to stay clean. So, you know, do those tips. So follow these calls to prevent from making goofy moves. I'm hella tired right now, as y'all can tell, you know, but you know, the grind don't stop. And even though I'm tired, like I still make sure my shit's clean. So that's just all part of the winning aspect. You know, if the shot's for you, okay, cool. If it's not, then make, move on to the next shot. I make these uh, videos for y'all for, you know, so y'all can relate and know what's going on in this industry and the beauty industry and stuff like that. Because barbers, cosmos, uh, hairstylists, whatever the case may be, they're all in the beauty industry. So I put these videos so y'all can learn about what's, what's going on in the industry and y'all can know what y'all getting yourself into so this is how i operate my business you're gonna just make sure you're clean and good to go be a team player have a good character and you're gonna be good yeah i appreciate y'all we up out of here like this video drop comments if you got any questions anything to talk about i'm all ears i like to listen i like to hear y'all feedback you know and answer y'all questions in time so yes yeah, so y'all follow me on instagram at flex and rule AK the Lavish Barber, you know, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Y'all gonna learn a lot. It's your boy Flex and Rue, AK the Lavish Barber. Until next time, y'all.